In order to make a Google Form, the first thing you need to do is go to your Google Drive, uh, go to New, and under More, you'll have an option called Google Forms, and you can go ahead and create your form. Uh, I'm going to open up a form I've already started, but once you open up your Google Form, you can do um, some interesting things. So first of all, to add questions, we'll use the plus sign right here. Uh, and you'll notice with the questions, I have a lot of different question choices. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, drop down, file upload, linear scale, choice grid, date, time, etc. Um, Google Forms will try and assume what question type you have. So if I put in what is your name, that question type actually automatically switches to short answer. Now I can also add in images. You'll notice as you go through, you might see this little image icon. And if I do that, I can add in images from my drive. I can even go ahead and search Google um, for images that I can then select and bring into my Google form to go along with that question. Uh, you can use images as responses as well and videos. Once you create your form and have your list of questions completed, there are a few options that you have buried in there. Now, each type of question will show the data a little bit differently. Um, in terms of graphs that are created. Now you'll notice uh, down at the bottom on every question I have an option to make that required. If I make it required, uh, individuals will have to complete that question in order to submit the form response. There's also some options uh, under the response validation that for things like checkbox questions we can have you pick at least one or two at most a certain number exactly so we can kind of uh, direct you to do some specific things under the email address uh, in the response validation we can make that text uh, an email address and that text that is entered will have to be an email address in order uh, to allow the response now uh, you do have some options there's a color palette so you can change the colors and add in images on your form there's also uh, some interesting things that you can do under the settings wheel. So notice, I can have the form automatically collect email addresses. I can even have it give response receipts uh, always or if you ask for it. I can also restrict it to my domain and limit to one response. Well, that's an option if you're using a Google Apps for Education account. Um, and then the last thing I can do is I can ha allow you to edit your answers after you submit, which will change the results. And I can also link you to the summary of results. Under presentation, I can shuffle questions, and there's even an option to make Google Forms quizzes. If I want to share the form, I have some options. Now, if I add collaborators, that means I'm adding people who can edit this Google Form. Um, if I just want people to complete the form, I can share it two ways. One, I can use the send button and enter their email addresses. It will actually send the form via an email to everybody, or I can just use this preview eyeball to go to my live form. And from this screen, I can link this URL, and individuals can go ahead and submit the form right here. Now, once people submit the form, Once individuals submit the form, you'll notice that on my uh, form here, I have responses. So I can see the responses in the form itself. Um, it automatically creates some charts for me. I can even copy those charts if I wanted to um, and paste them into a doc or into a slide presentation. The other thing that I can do is I can... Um, create a spreadsheet. So if I hit this little green button here, it will create a spreadsheet uh, with all those responses on it. Now the responses will be stored in both the form and stored in the spreadsheet. Anyway, that is, uh, that's the first part of getting started with Google Forms.